WMNF Tampa, and we are listener sponsored, and we are about to hear Dr. Fred's Healthy Steps show on WMNF. And uh, you can donate and support great shows like this by calling 813 239 9663. You can also donate on our website, WMNF.org. Welcome, Dr. Fred, and it's great to see you. Hey, it's great to see you, Sean. It's been a while since we've been on together. So uh, welcome everybody to the Healthy Step Show. Um, thank you all for uh, uh, coming and listening. I hope you enjoyed last week's show. I uh, really had uh, um, a wonderful time at the Functional Medicine Conference. Always so much amazing information and getting together with some really heart-centered practitioners that really are uh, uh, here to help us look at planetary health in addition to human health, because, you know, if we don't have a healthy planet, we don't have healthy humans. And um, there was some really amazing, amazing lectures. Um, uh, so, so broad topics too, because we are um, really at the inception of a most amazing new paradigm in human healthcare. You know, I talked a lot about how, what my former colleagues and I practiced for years is illness care. And wellness care is really the key because when you focus on health and focus on building health, disease goes away. And that's what WMNF's mission is about, focusing on the health of the community. Um, I am so honored to be a part of this family because it contributes so much to our city and to our state and to our nation and the world. People hear us all over and the amazing information that's available here on the talk portion of this station provides such depth and such variety of coverage that really enhances our lives because we don't hear some of this information other places because you know the corporate narrative tells us what they want us to know so that we'll buy their product. And on this station, nobody can buy the information. This is community sponsored. And that's why I'm gonna ask y'all right here at the beginning of the show to help us meet our goal today. We have $2,300 and that is a big goal for an hour long show, but I know y'all can do it. And so I'm gonna ask you to call in 813-239-9663 or email um, to dj at wmnf.org. Um, and please um, consider any size donation. And for these donations, you get to participate in supporting some of the most amazing shows on. You just heard some Democracy Now. What amazing information. I've been listening to Amy Goodman for years, and she helps us be aware of how the scammers in our government are scamming us. <laughs> She lets us know how the corporations are buying our world. And she helps us understand um, the difference between buying guns and buying butter. <laughs> it's really important to think about. So a donation of 35 bucks is really easy. Um, it'll get you a bumper sticker or a refrigerator magnet or a five by five static window cling. But you can take it right up to the top and, you know, for a donation of a thousand bucks, you can get an event passport, 10 tickets to any music event or a patio paper. You can actually be a part of building this beautiful, beautiful station and this community. Yeah, the number, what do you say, Sean? The number to call in is 813-239-9663. And you can talk to one of our phone bank volunteers. If you prefer to go on the web and make your donation there on our secure website, the the website is wmnf.org. We're definitely looking for people who support Healthy Steps, who are enjoy having Dr. Fred Harvey on every Monday morning. If this is something that's important to you, if you get information that you can use in your healthy steps, in your, in your lifestyle, in learning how to become a healthier person, if this is important information to you, if you think it's a valuable resource to keep on the air in Tampa Bay, give us a call and show your financial support. 813-239-9663. It's kind of like a thank you to WMNF and to Dr. Fred for bringing this information to over the airwaves. Maybe Dr. Fred's given you some advice that's helped you in your health or maybe one of your family members, or maybe you just like listening every week and, and finding out information about health. 
813-239-9663 or WMNF.org. Yes, it's really um, uh, such a community. And, and the community that I'm with, the functional medicine community, keeps growing. There were more people at this convention than there have been in any prior. I think there were over 1,200 practitioners, all different varieties, from, from dentistry to veterinary medicine to internal medicine, naturopath, naturopathic medicine, acupuncture, all over the place. Because functional medicine crosses all boundaries, crosses all barriers. There are no barriers in functional medicine because we're talking about humans, and humans are everywhere. And there's only one human family. And no matter what the color of your skin or the nature of your genes, we're human. And we all respond very much the same way to the big inputs, the ones that make the most impact when you're dealing with human health. And I mentioned some of them last time on my uh, recorded show, and that is we need to have really good relationships. That's one of them. When we have relationships, the reason we actually are born into this planet is so we can develop relationships. My relationship with WMNF has grown over the years and, and with this community and my relationship with the functional medicine community continues to grow. And we have relationships though with everything, our food. We have relationships with the way we exercise and we have relationships with uh, our family, our pets, uh, the plants in our yard that we take care of. And so when we're mindful about our relationships, health is so, so much better. When something happens to our relationships, we get traumatized and that trauma can upset us. And one of the first things that I talked about at this conference was the next frontier, the vagus nerve. Well, the vagus nerve is your biggest nerve in the body. It is the um, calming down nerve. And many people have vagus nerve dysfunction after trauma. They can't calm down. PTSD is a related event, post-traumatic stress disorder. It's because you're keyed up and the vagus nerve isn't working and you just can't calm down. And when we find out how to deal with things like this, when we learn how to address the traumas that we carry with us and work on our own nervous system, we can actually develop a better relationship with ourselves. And so as we, as we open that up and, and develop this relationship with ourselves, we learn that um, our body tells us things. Our body is signaling to us all the time. And these signals are sometimes misinterpreted. And sometimes we end up actually reacting to things because of these nervous system dysfunctions, react to them in ways that we don't want to. You know, uh, people get triggered by certain things, certain actions. Um, you know, you might say the word, name of a certain politician and a group of people is going to react. You might say the name of a drug that has been in, in the airwaves and people would react because they've been trained by what's going through the airwaves purposefully. You know, there's a lot of purposeful manipulation of information that occurs in advertising. And we live in an advertising world because that's what capitalism needs to sell you the products you don't need. And so um, when they advertise drugs um, on, on the TV uh, and on the radio, it, it's telling people to call the doctor to get something they probably don't need because there's an answer inside themselves that would probably fix the problem. And the answer, to fix any problem with communication is to actually start communicating about it. And so I'm gonna ask you again to communicate with WMNF because we are providing the information that helps you understand how to live better. And also we're smoothing the way with some really beautiful tunes too. The variety of music on this station is like no other. You can go from one end of the spectrum to the other, find a show for any type of music that you want, and even more, and discover all kinds of new things like Words and Music with Marcy Finkelstein. What an amazing show. She does such a great job of bringing the culture of the music into it and explaining why the music is. I mean, you don't get this on, on commercial radio. So please consider donating even, uh, you know, I just joined the circle of friends, I gotta tell you. It was uh, so worthwhile because I never did it before. And what's really cool is I love this community. And so every month now, I get an email saying, hey, thanks for being part of the community. That's really fun because 
I didn't get that with my single donations. I just gave it and then there was a one thank you, but every month I get thanked for being part of the community. If you wanna be you know, recognized as being part of the community, it just feels good to know that your family's out there talking with you and saying, hey, thanks for being in our community. Give a call right now to the radio station at 813-239-9663. You can also make a donation at WMNF.org if you support Healthy Steps with Dr. Fred Harvey, who gives you health advice every every Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning, right after Democracy Now! and right before Sustainable Living. We'll be in in an hour with Sustainable Living. They'll be asking for your support. I think these two shows dovetail very nicely together because as Dr. Fred mentioned earlier, uh, gardening and being outside and, and what kinds of foods you eat and all these things, these are, these are for your healthy steps in your life, but it also has to do with sustainability. It kind of all goes hand in hand of the health of the, of the ecosystem, the health of the earth and the health of your own body. So if you are interested in this type of uh, programming, please support Healthy Steps by calling 813-239-9663. You can also make a donation at WMNF.org. And Dr. Fred, I have some good news. We have our first donation. John Fitzhenry from Valrico has contributed $75. Thanks so much for that donation. Also at the end of Democracy Now!, we got a contribution. Wayne Shooker from Tampa has contributed $20 supporting Democracy Now!, so thanks to those donations. Now we're looking for more people who like health, healthy steps, who want to support Dr. Fred's show. You can call 813-239-9663 to do so, or you can make a donation at WMNF.org. Yes, and you know, we really do dovetail in nicely. I love the message that Sustainable Living brings forth, and I love our hosts. Um, Andy Ellis and Tanya Vitovic do such a beautiful job. And um, the uh, functional medicine is looking at sustainable living uh, really, really deeply. And, and um, we've had uh, some really excellent lectures. Um, the, the I've seen uh, uh, Dr. Michael Ash talk several times. He's very interested in the human um, microbiome in the gut. And he gave a talk called Unlocking the Green Connection, Exploring the Role of the Phytobiome in Human Health. The phytobiome, and that's something that sustainable living is always going to be talking about. It's it's the 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 biome of the earth. It's the soil microbiome, and we have discovered that the soil microbiome is critical in helping us uh, um, really be healthy. The you know it's it's interesting the difference in the way conventional Western medicine and and functional medicine look at this topic and. The Western medicine has looked at soil bacteria and harvested many of them for antibiotics so we can actually fight disease. But if you actually simply ingest the beautiful microbiome of the earth, you don't need antibiotics as much because they help stabilize the system and prevent the bad things from acting. And so we need, we, we've shown um, um, years ago that there's very little nutritional difference between standard conventional chemical-based agriculture and standard conventional organic agriculture nutritionally because the soil microbiome is still upset. The community in the soil is disturbed all the time with both of these methods. But biodynamic farming, where you actually take care of the soil, nourish the soil, and build the soil, as they do in um, Joel Salatin's polyface farm, where they rotate animals and crops throughout different areas of the farm, they've built over a foot of topsoil in 30 years. On my yard in, in Sarasota, I've probably built four inches of topsoil in the last six years because we do chop and drop and we put all the organic material back into the soil right on my yard. I have a forest of food. And if all of us did that, I think we would turn our lives around because what we found is when you don't wash your food, listen to this, when you don't wash your food and you eat a healthy soil microbiome, you get healthier. Isn't that amazing? And you know, when you actually promote that, with eating these good foods that you don't wash off the, the, the good bacteria that are bacteria that are part of your cycle. You know, we've lived with these for millennia, but we've cut them out. Western science has decided to cut out the rest of the world and make us isolated beings within all the living nature. We can't do that. We're part of nature. And 
we're part of a big community here. And this community is not just Tampa. This community extends throughout the world. And if you want to help a community of information based in love, based in growth of humanity, based in support for all life, support WMNF and call us 813-239-9663 with any kind of donation. Think about it. Give up your one Starbucks a day and just give that to WMNF. The number again is 813-239-9663 or WMNF.org is where you can make a web donation. I have good news. I have another donation that came in from Nina from Sarasota who's contributing to $20. Nina says she learned so much from this show. She really appreciates it. So thank you for that donation. That's our second donation of the show. I, sh- I should say we still though do need to raise about another $2,200 this hour. So we are looking for that support for Healthy Steps and Dr. Fred Harvey's show is advice show maybe is how you'd call it or or just talking about health and giving you information about health very informative very useful information if you find this valuable if you like that it's on WMNF please continue to support this radio station and this show by calling 813-239-9663 or WMNF.org is where you can make your web donation or if you're on the WMNF community radio app you can hit the donate button there and make your donation donation right there. So give us a call right now, 813-239-9663. We're still looking for another $2,200 this hour. Are there supporters out there of Healthy Steps, of Dr. Fred's radio program? Give us a call, 813-239-9663. It's so important to support the community. And and one of the things that uh, Dr. Ash mentioned is these ways we can support it. And another person that talked following up Dr. Ash, who was talking about human health, was um, a representative from the Rodale Institute, Rodale, R-O-D-A-L-E. They've been publishing uh, information about health for years. Um, I think their magazine was called Prevention, um, but they have an experimental farm um, in Amish country in Pennsylvania, um, and they have been working on regenerative agriculture for years. Many places are using regenerative agriculture, and It's really, really fascinating to see. And this is research that's been going on for many years. Um, 10 years ago, I was at a conference where the, they were describing, um, um, what they discovered in, in, in urban areas where they put food, um, uh, community, community gardens, but sustainable community gardens where they really uh, got people into the dirt and got the, got the soil getting better. In those areas, there was one that was in, um, I believe, Williamsburg, Bronx, um, um, or Brooklyn, sorry, Williamsburg, Brooklyn, before I get corrected. Um, the, um, um, there was a, a farm put in there, and they noticed that there was, within a couple of years, uh, within like a, 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 a mile radius, there was a lowered incidence of autoimmune disease in that neighborhood. And there was another one that was in Oakland, California. And what they found there was that asthma rates dropped precipitously within like a mile of this natural farm. So when we get a normal biome coming out of the soil, it nourishes us. But the problem is that industrial farming destroys that. And so we know that when you know, the animal microbiome mixes with the soil and it all works with us. And, and in the past, even our um, uh, effluvium, our feces would mix with the soil. We would be exposed to ongoing uh, 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 microbiome changes, but we've cut all that out. And now we have these concentrated animal farm operations that grow way too many beasts in one area and they do way too much um, manipulation of the feed. They give them the wrong food that changes their gut microbiome. They give them antibiotics that changes it. And so when um, it was about 15 years ago, um, everybody was astonished that people were getting a, uh, a toxic uh, uh, E. coli infection from Eden Farms spinach. And Eden Farms does really good technique. They, they didn't have a problem prior, but what the FDA and the EPA did was track the genetics of the the, the, the E. coli that was in this problem. They tracked it back to a concentrated animal farm operation, a dairy farm, um, next to the spinach farm. And what happened was the manure pile 
um, uh, dried and wind blew the uh, E. coli onto the lettuce that was drying in open air sheds. And so the altered microbiome of these horribly treated animals kill, killed humans indirectly. It's crazy that we are allowing this stuff to go on, but we're, we're allowing ongoing abuse of uh, uh, animals and of the planet, the soil microbiome, by doing this to our food supply. And we, we can't keep doing it. We need change. And the only way we can change is by speaking out about it. And so the more people get educated about what not to do, the more they can actually make changes. So think about it. If, if half of the people that currently buy meat that comes from uh, concentrated animal farms stop buying it, those businesses are going to dry up. The problem is most people don't know. So when they walk into one of those fast food places and buy non-food substances that have toxic meat, et cetera, in them, they're contributing to the problem. We must step away from corporate food and buy locally if possible. Fortunately, we do have some of those resources. Locally in Sarasota, and I know in Tampa, there are some great consortiums of home growers and organic farms that work together to help supply food uh, to the local areas. Community uh, service, or, uh, service arrangements, the CSA farms where you actually pay the farm and then get uh, to help them sustain during their low points and you get food back during the, the harvest season. It's a brilliant way to sustain local agriculture. It's the way you contribute to the community. And there are so many of those local farms now available that we are blessed here in Florida. And I think more and more are showing up all over the nation. I've heard uh, friends from California talking about um, their amazing farmers markets. And I've been to some in North Carolina. I think we're remembering I think we're remembering, and I think we should remember something really, really important, and that is the Victory Garden. When I was a kid and I watched uh, PBS um, on a regular basis, I watched this show, this crusty old guy from Massachusetts. I can't remember what his name was, but he had a show called The Victory Garden. And The Victory Garden is one of the tools that America used to win World War II. And from my perspective, we're at war in a sense right now because we have so many powers coming to bear on us that we're all under stress. One way to reduce stress is to work in your yard. Make a garden, go out in your yard, grow some of your own food. The more you do that, the more you actually get healthy, the more you contribute to the health of the planet and to the health of your community. Because I can share the food that's on my yard. We're finally getting to the point where my trees are mature enough that we're gonna be able to share some mangoes. We've already shared papayas, they grow pretty quickly. But sharing is the key. And if you like a community like WMNF that provides this kind of information and this kind of great music, um, please donate. Go on WMNF.org. And if you would um, uh, write in the comments section of your donation in the tip box, I'll answer your question today. Try and get a message over to the DJ so I can actually uh, talk about something. It looks like... Um, uh, we could uh, really uh, uh, use some more help today, uh, 813-239-9663. We're way behind the goal, and I hope that y'all feel like opening up, your, up, opening up your wallets and giving us a call. Stop by the tip jar and ask a question. Yeah, I should say that um, it's great that we've gotten a, hear, heard from two people who support Dr. Fred's show, but I think that we should be uh, getting a lot more. I would, I would think we'd be more comfortable if we were getting a lot more support. If I knew that there was out there, there was a lot of support for this show. If there are people who are financially supporting Dr. Fred's Healthy Steps show, and the way that I that we can see that is if you call in right now, 813-239-9663. You can make a donation at WMNF.org as well. Two donations, that's great. I'm really happy that those people have called. Honestly, we do need to hear from a lot more of you out there. Are there people out there who support Dr. Fred's Healthy Steps show? 813-239-9663. Uh, we are halfway through the show and we still have $2,200 to raise. So please, it's... Uh, feeling a little bit urgent, let's give us get get your calls coming in right now. If you support Healthy Steps, call us now, 813-239-9663. Yes, some people call into the show to talk about some urgent issues. And, you know, really supporting WF is one of my urgent issues. And 
when I, I'm able to actually provide information that helps people, it just gives me a thrill because I love to hear people getting healthy. And I would like to see WMNF stay healthy. And one way to do that is with a donation. And, you know, um, many people um, uh, offer a guest host to the show. It's pretty tough for me to offer a guest host to the show. But uh, uh, there's so many other things that we have for you. A donation for 100 bucks, you can get a black cap with the WMNF logo. I love that cool rainbow logo. It's pretty awesome. Um, the new t-shirt's excellent too. Um, so if you uh, oh throw in $325, you get a beach gift pack. That looks fun too. Um, I just, uh, I love the, the variety of the gifts that are available. And I love the variety of information here. Um, you know, if you felt desperate and you've called the radio station, and you actually got some information from me that's helped, please consider helping the station back. Um, I get nothing out of this other than the joy of helping you and, and getting to talk for an hour um, about anything that I want to. It's a thrill and a gift and an honor. But, um, you know, it would be an honor to be able to stay on and air. We're over halfway through the show with much less than half of the donations we need. So if you can consider giving us a call here at the station, 813-239-9663, I would really appreciate it. And so would the whole family here. And that's an added bonus that when you make your donation, you can ask Dr. Fred a question. You can either type it in the comments if you're making a donation at WMNF.org or if you're calling one of our wonderful phone bank volunteers at 813-239-9663. After you've made your donation, they'd be happy to write in the comments whatever question you have for Dr. Fred. Uh, so please do that now. Give us a call, 813-239-9663. We can't wait to read your your comments and to read your donations on the air. And it's up to you whether you want to remain anonymous or be thanked just by your first name, or we can thank you by your full name. It's up to you. Just give us a call 813-239-9663 or make a donation at WMNF.org. You know, uh, the variety at the functional medicine conference is kind of like the variety in WMNF. We go all over the place. And the second day of lectures started with a, a most amazing talk on artificial intelligence. Um, um, oh, Laura Wen, uh, W-E-N, I believe, or W-E-N-N. Uh, she is a commentator, uh, writer for the Washington Post, brilliant woman, did a really nice series uh, in the Post um, about AI. I think it was about six or eight months ago. Well, she talked about AI and she talked about the promise of and the peril of AI in healthcare. And, um, you know, people talk about, oh, can we, you know, how can we stop this? Because they're all scared about it. Well, fear-based thinking doesn't work for one, and there's no possible way that we could ever put AI back in the bottle. The genie's out, it's not going back in the bottle. And we can make some wishes <laughs> and not be afraid of it. Um, you know, think about it, it's artificial intelligence. It's not human intelligence, it has limits. And um, it ha its limits are what we put into it for it to think about, to deal with. And so um, we have control of AI. It's, it's not something very scary, but we also have, um, there are other people, you know, ever, humans have control of AI, but humans can manipulate the AI to do things we don't want. We've already heard about the deep fakes and politics that are using, you know, faked voices to tell people uh, things that they shouldn't be hearing that aren't true. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff happening out there, but in healthcare, I see a transformation in the way we actually deal with the volume of information that's coming out. We need artificial intelligence to interpret massive genomic studies so that we can actually look at the way genes in a population respond. This is going to give us huge public health benefit. But we can also drill it down to the individual. Um, I've talked before about Bruce Patterson's test for long COVID. And when you input all the data from the cytokine storm that the blood test reveals into an AI program, it will analyze the data in a way that enables us to determine whether it's likely or not that you have long COVID based on the pattern of the cytokine storm. What's great is that the AI has also delineated more nuances in the cytokine storm. Cytokine storm is not unique to COVID-19. Cytokine storm is something related to all inflammatory degenerative diseases, which is like 99% of all of our diseases. 
disease comes from dysfunction related to toxicity and inflammation. And so the AI is helping us understand the patterns of inflammation that occur from different types of triggers like mold toxicity, Lyme disease, vaccine injury, and COVID injury, chronic fatigue syndrome, and fibromyalgia. These things are all being able to be teased out with artificial intelligence. So we'll be able to actually address more directly problems that have perplexed us for years. Fibromyalgia is one of the more difficult things to deal with because there's not a drug that treats it. The reason is the drugs aren't addressing the cause. And the same thing goes for broader issues like depressive disorders. The mood is affected by inflammation. So treating inflammation might actually affect and improve the mood. I've watched it happen numerous times when I get people off of gluten, when they're gluten sensitive. And so I see a great boon for us in using AI to help us understand systems. Well, we're gonna be able to understand logistic systems better. We're gonna to need to apply AI to keep the planet healthy because as humans have done this damage and we're actually watching the globe warm up, we're gonna to need to figure out what to do to salvage our agriculture because we're already seeing the changes. CO2 is decreasing the protein and nutrient value of most of our crops. We're seeing that, that this is not sustainable. We're gonna actually stop being able to survive if we continue to put this much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And this is all related and to, to the, the soil health, the human health, and I see AI as being a next step into our understanding of it. I'm not, I'm not afraid of it. I don't think anybody should be scared of it, except when we're not even scared of it, but just be aware that humans are going to use it to try to manipulate other humans to get them to do things against their best interest. But in, in healthcare, we are using it to find better solutions. And it's gonna be amazing what we're gonna see in the next 10 years as we apply AI to this. And, if you want to have more information about this, I, I'm, I'm ready to bring some of these cool scientists on here again. Um, and I would like to do more with interviews. So, hey, if you want to have an interview show, let me know. Get on WMNF.org, go to the tip jar and make a, make a donation and a suggestion for what you want to hear on this show. Give me some instructions. I'm willing to bend the show to whatever you people want to hear because I'm here to help you understand your health reality better, just like WMNF is here to help you understand and enjoy your living here together in this family. So give us a call, 813-239-9663. And as Dr. Fred mentioned, you can also go to WMNF.org. That might be the easiest way, especially if you want to type in a comment. You can just type that in there after you've made your donation. There's a section for comments and ask Dr. Fred a question or suggest a guest or a topic. And he will certainly look through that. And uh, we will thank you for your donation. We're, we're very happy to, to thank people. This is your way to kind of talk back to your radio, to tell us what's working and, and what you're enjoying. And if you're enjoying Healthy Steps, if you think the information that's coming to you is important, give us a call, 813-239-9663. You can also make a donation on our website, which is wmnf.org. And Dr. Fred, I just have two more people to thank right now. That's great. $25 contribution from Suzanne House from Tampa. She says, this is such a great show. And uh, so thank you so much for that uh, donation. We really appreciate that. And um, Mike Wheeler from St. Petersburg is donating $25, says, thanks for your generosity from Mike in St. Pete. So thanks so much, Dr. Fred, for, for your show. And these people are thanking you as well for, for, your, uh, for the donations, by, with their donations, thanking you for your show. And you can make a donation right now as well, 813-239-9663 or WMNF.org. Thank you, Susan and Mike. I appreciate that so much. Um, another one of the things that we talked about there was something that was pretty much mind blowing. I have been going to these conferences for uh, practically 30 years. And some of my colleagues, some of the teachers actually at the um, IFM um, that I find also quite brilliant, um, listen to a lecture um, called The Fourth phase of water. 
Um, there is a, uh, and I'm blanking on the, the Chinese scientist that actually came up with this, discovered this, um, I think 30 years ago. He was dismissed by all of his colleagues, like most forward thinking people are. And um, it was revisited by another scientist and he's done work for the last 20 years on it. And he's come up with some evidence about the fourth phase of water. This has amazing health implications because it tells us uh, that we have another way of looking at our bodies, another way of looking at human health through a the lens of water of which we are primarily made. You know, 60% of our body is water. It's really important to have good water. And uh, as I mentioned before, in functional medicine foundations, water is key. So get clean water. You want filtered water, uh, filtered with a good carbon block filter to get some of the junk out. Um, uh, particulates and chlorine and biologics, but um, getting lots of it is important. You want to get that half ounce per pound of body weight a day, and in the summer, probably increase that to three-fourths of an ounce per pound. But the fourth phase of water, so fascinating. Uh, we have talked about ice, water, you know, ice, liquid, and gas, steam, forever. Um, there is a phase between ice and liquid water, it's a gel, and it is structured water. All of the magnetically charged dipolar water molecules line up in a fashion um, that is like a palisade, like a wall. And it happens prior to it going into ice. It organizes itself before it freezes. And what's interesting is when water touches hydrophilic surfaces, that means surfaces that like water, surfaces that absorb water, like the inside of our blood vessels, like um, the inside of our cells, which are filled with proteins, which are hydrophilic. The water molecules automatically line up next to these areas, and they make a zone of exclusion where all kinds of impurities are pushed away so they can be excreted. So water is critical for detoxification, one of the foundations of functional medicine. The more water you have, the more you're able to create easy water, exclusion zone water, which is the structured water inside your body, which is necessary for good growth. When water becomes unstructured, or good, good health, when water becomes unstructured, it suggests to the cell that it should divide. So here's an implication for cancer. When you have lots of unstructured water inside your body, you end up having more cell division, you promote cancer growth. But if you have lots of structured water, which means you have to have lots of water to begin with so that you can actually have enough to be structured, you actually develop a healthier situation where the toxins are going out and the cell is less likely to divide in, in an inappropriate fashion. So you can actually reduce the pressure on cells to grow like cancer simply by having more water. It's there's so many implications for this that when I talked to my friend Robert Roundtree, who's been teaching functional medicine for 25, 30 years, we looked at each other, jaws dropped as if this is like this, the, the key to life itself, which in a sense it is because water is why we have this kind of life on planet Earth. And so we need to make sure we keep our water clean and we need to have you know really good water filters. We want to um, try to avoid polluting the water. So the best we can do with reducing the amount of petrochemical use and overflow would be beautiful. And you know we need to get our coffers overflowing here at WMNF because this is a community-driven station, and you lovely people out there in listening land are our source of funding. And so I'm asking you to start thinking about another donation. Go to WMNF.org and stop by the tip jar. And we leave a suggestion. Oh, it looks like Sean actually got some uh, some donations. Let's yeah, talk about that. Yeah, I didn't that. mean to interrupt you, but I do. Um, okay. I'm happy about to to thank some people. So we have an anonymous contribution for one hundred five dollars. As and they enjoy the show, and they also enjoy the Tom Hartman show that we have on our WMNF. So I see you, anonymous, uh, and thank you so much. I, I it's great to hear from you, anonymous. Also, anonymous one hundred eight dollars is says. Um, 
is asking what what should your I'll, I'll thank some more people, but in the meantime, you can be thinking about this question, Doctor Fred. What should your ferritin number be? Is anonymous is the question from anonymous. Also, we have Victoria from Gulfport is donating fifty dollars. Thank you so much for that. And Robin Zoller from Bradenton is donating fifty three dollars and seventy cents. And Robin is asking or says, Doctor Harvey's show keeps you in the know about fitness and health, life's most important wealth. Donate now if you want to keep knowing how to live your best life, reducing stress and strife. He keeps it real when you tell him how you feel, but he'll cut it off if you ramble or scoff. He's one of a kind, and I'm sure you'll find you'll look forward to his show. So come on, give some dough, says Robin Z. I'm sorry it took me a while to realize that was a a rhyming thing that I should have read better, but thanks for the (laughs) thoughts, Robin. And thank you for your donation. You can make a donation as well, 813-239-9663 or WMNF.org. Thank you, everyone, for all those lovely donations. I really appreciate you. And uh, thank you, Robin, for another wonderful poem. Um, Next time, Sean will be keyed in when he sees that name. (laughs) So uh, what is ferritin? Ferritin ferritin is an interesting molecule. It carries iron around the body. And it can be an indicator of a lot of different things. Uh, One, just your iron load. Do you have enough iron nutrition in your body? Two, it's an inflammatory indicator. And um, so if you have an inflammatory process going on, ferritin goes up as a marker of inflammation. It doesn't really treat or do anything with it, but it's just a marker of it. And then um, when you have a uh, genetic problem called hemochromatosis, you actually store too much iron in your body. And when you do that, the ferritin level goes up. So the question actually was what ferritin level should you have? preferably within the standard reference range. Um, If it goes low, you probably need to be evaluated for why you're iron deficient. And if it goes high, it's worth it to get evaluated for inflammation. If it's really high, it's really worth it to get evaluated for hemochromatosis because that is treatable and uh, it causes many uh, adverse consequences. So you want to actually take care of that before your liver gets damaged by it because it will cause cirrhosis uh, over time. So, uh, you know, prevention is key and prevention here at WMNF means donation. And being that we have 12 minutes left, um, I'm looking for that angel donor of $1,800 to put us over the top, Uh, $2,000 would be better. (laughs) But whatever you folks can bring to the table is always appreciated. Um, If you like this show, if you like the information, if you want to support the uh, Healthy Steps show to remain on and keep providing this amazing kind of information, call us 813-239-9663 or go to WMNF.org in the tip jar and ask me another question. I'm always glad to answer one and try to help you get directed into some better health. 813-239-9663 813-239-9663 or WMNF.org. I have a couple more people to thank right now. We have Anonymous who is getting a WMNF t-shirt for a $100 contribution. Thanks so much for that. And also we have a $100 contribution from our great friends, John and Debbie Butts from Plant City, the former hosts of the Sustainable Living Show. And John and Debbie say, I really appreciate our Healthy Steps radio program and Dr. Harvey's knowledge, dedication, and the love he speaks. I'm pledging for the WMNF t-shirts as I did last fun drive. And when it arrived, my wife loved the t-shirt and the beautiful shirt became a wonderful gift. She so much appreciated. WMNF is the gift that keeps on giving. So thank you for that comment, John and Debbie Butts. That was a great t-shirt we had last time. And we also have a lovely t- couple of lovely t-shirts you can choose from this time. So you can see those on WMNF.org. You can make your donation there and pick out which gift you like. And you can call right now, 813-239-9663 in the last 12 minutes of the show. And hopefully we will get closer and closer to that goal of healthy steps and WMNF.org. Thank you for those donations. And I really, um, I like my T-shirt. I, I, I wore it on uh, uh, the plane out to the conference because it's just such a cool T-shirt, like kind of like a, a butterfly on a green shirt. Um, but uh, yes, and thanks again, John. Um, you, you, you came through last time too. I appreciate you. And I appreciated listening to you when you hosted Sustainable Living. Such an important concept, sustainability. Um, you know, we, we, the conference that I went to was in Las Vegas. 
I, I doubt that I will ever go back to Las Vegas. That is a completely unsustainable organism. <laughs> um, uh, it is such a unique place to spend a little time, but um, a little time. I, my, my husband and I had to actually leave. We, we um, uh, got to town and the very next morning after seeing one show, we drove to the Grand Canyon because we had to get out of that city. Um, it's just too intense. And then by uh, Saturday afternoon, um, <clears throat> um, after several days of conference, I just couldn't sit inside anymore and had to go and visit Lake Mead. Um, what an amazing thing, America's first national recreational park. Um, it's huge too, and um, it deserves some conservation. The lake level is down 140 feet since 2000. And it came back up a couple feet with the uh, intense wet snow winter last year, but it needs a lot more help. And global climate change is having some devastating effects there. Uh, we need to really consider that piece of planetary health to keep human health going forward. Um, I'm just, just thrilled with the amount of information that came from there, the community uh, just keeps growing and uh, we keep learning more and more, more ways to uh, address um, how we can take care of the human condition. Because really, compassion is key. And we, we don't get a lot of that in clinical medicine. I've seen a lot better um, um, growth in that area um, in this past year. And um, I had... Uh, a uh, unfortunate experience of, of having to deal with oncology, cancer therapy um, for a family member. And um, I was really impressed with the compassion of all the people that were involved at Sarasota Memorial. Um, their oncology unit is uh, uh, just astonishing in how compassionate and how uh, 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 excellent the care is. Um, in, in all aspects of it. Um, the doctors, the nurses, uh, everyone was so compassionate. And I'm, I'm seeing a shift in um, the relationship aspect of Western medicine. And it's really good to see because relationship, again, is key. And I think we're waking up. I think the hearts of humans are actually really getting it. And, and we're really starting to understand sharing. There's a lot of doom and gloom out there. Um, and, and news media tends to make its money off of spreading doom and gloom. When I was 19, I wrote my first uh, English paper titled, Good News? Question mark. So this is 43 years ago. <laughs> I was talking about how bad the news media is when it comes to selling negativism. Um, and I got an A on the paper because the, the, the um, teacher uh, was totally on board. She, was, she had never seen anybody write that paper yet. Uh, but think about the amount of negativism that comes out to make people feel bad, to make people want to be, to make people be anxious so that they'll be driven to soothe that anxiety with consumerism. Because that's really, it seems to me, the way this works in this country. You get anxious and you buy something. And usually the wrong thing, like some kind of sugary sweet food or something like that. But if we invest ourselves in um, something even better, uh, like WMNF, we can keep getting information like this to help us grow. And we are still way behind. We have Six minutes left, and we need $1,550. So please give us a call here at the radio station, 813-239-9663, or go to WMNF.org and plunk something down in the tip jar and ask me a question. I'll be glad to answer for you. Thanks, Dr. Fred. I have some people to thank right now. Here is L.C. Colado shouting out uh, for a $100 donation. Says, you're an asset to the community, Dr. Fred. And L.C. is getting the WMNF t-shirt. Thank you for that. Also, Randy and Vicki Stevenson have contributed $100. They're getting our WMNF baseball cap. 
And for a $68.40 annual contribution, we have uh, Ali Denofa from Sarasota is donating to our circle of friends, joining our circle of friends at $5.70 a month. Thanks so much for your recurring donation, Ali. And she, we're going to send her a sticker, a WMNF sticker. So including all of those donations, we, ha- we still need to raise almost $1,400 in the next few minutes. So can with your help, we can do that if you call now if, to show us that there's support for Healthy Steps to show us that there is support for Dr. Fred's show. Give us a call right now, 813-239-9663 or donate at WMNF.org. We are right down to the wire, folks. It is feeling a little um, stressful that we're so far from the goal and so close to the end of the show. So if you can find a way to do it, dial up or type in WMNF.org. Go to the website, pop by the tip jar and give us some thanks. Give the radio station some thanks and give me and this show some thanks because we're here for you and we want to continue to be here for you so you can keep getting some excellent health information. I want to help you guys figure out how to live the healthiest life and how to take healthy steps each day. So give us a call uh, or uh, come to WMNF.org. 813-239-9663. 813-239-9663. We still need to raise $1,400 on Dr. Fred's Healthy Steps program. 813-239-9663. If you find this valuable information, if you get something out of this show every week at Monday, every Monday that is at 10 in the morning, Dr. Fred donates his time to come on and help you with your health questions and concerns and about living a healthy lifestyle. And you can repay that and you can help to keep it going strong in the Tampa Bay area by calling in your donation at 813-239-9663. You can also make a donation at WMNF.org. You're listening to WMNF Tampa. In about three minutes, we're going to go up to NPR News Headlines and hear five minutes of news. And then we're going to hear Sustainable Living and Annie and Tanya will be asking for your support. But in the last few minutes of Dr. Fred's show, we do need to know that there's a, a flurry of support out there. If you're a fan of of Dr. Fred's Healthy Step Show, give us a call right now, 813-239-9663 or WMNF.org. If you want to keep hearing really great health information, things that you won't find on the networks, things that are difficult to sort through, I know that I hear comments about uh, all kinds of interesting topics and questions from you folks coming in that I've sorted through the debris, I would call it. There's so much disinformation on the web about what's actually really happening with human health that it's tough. I'm here to do that for you. I'm here to search through those articles so that we have um, a better understanding of what's actually happening. And so to support this show is gonna help you continue to have access. We're down to the wire here and it would be wonderful to see a, 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 just a, a a flood of calls, a flood of emails to help us uh, continue to supply this kind of wonderful information for you and to continue to support this community. It's so important for us, WMNF.org or 813-239-9663. Uh, we are the Healthy Step Show, WMNF Tampa, and I appreciate you. I'll be back next week, and I hope that um, uh, we can make goal, give it a try, Keep sending those in after my show. (laughs) Thank you and have a wonderful week until I talk to you again. Yeah, thank you so much, Dr. Fred. And he's right. You can donate anytime you'd like, uh, 813-239-9663. And just mention to the phone bank volunteer that you're supporting the Healthy Steps show. Or when you go online, you can just select the show code HAN or Healthy Steps when you're making your donation. And again, 813-239-9663. Show your support for Dr. Fred. He makes his goal or comes very close on a lot of uh, a lot of our fun drives show, but he still is pretty far off right now. So we do still need your support. Give us a call 813-239-9663 or make a donation at WMNF.com. 
Org. We've had a nice show of support. About 10 people, it looks like, called in, and we still need to raise about another $1,400. I see a couple of people on the line. I'll, I'll thank those people after uh, sustainable living starts, but we still are looking to thank you with your donation. 813 239 9663. Hey, great news. We just got in a bunch. So continue to call in 813 239 9663. But I want to thank Elsie from St. Petersburg with a $300 contribution. That's great, Elsie. I always get lots of great info from Dr. Harvey. I enjoy sustainable living and spend lots of time in my garden. I try to lesson every week. Thanks a lot. So thank you for that. I'm not going to have time to read all of these right now, but I'll think I'll read them after the NPR news headlines. But I do want to say that Nancy Ogden from St. Petersburg has donated $1,000. So thank you so much for that great gift, Nancy. Uh, lovely to hear from you. This is WMNF Tampa. Thanks to everyone who contributed. Here's NPR News headlines. Thanks so much.